Woods, and I woke up this morning with a strange desire, for whatever reason, to paint my nails. I don't know, it's kind of spring fever. I'm looking at the Pacifica nail colors. Has anyone used them before? Are they any good? They also have this brand, um, Mineral Fusion. It's vegan, high performance nail polish. Ooh. They don't really have any pretty spring colors. The packaging on the Pacifica ones is speaking to me with this gold top. I like that. <laughs> so while I'm always bemoaning fragrance and how, you know, you can develop an allergy to it at any time and like you should definitely avoid it in skincare as much as humanly possible. These, um, <laughs> Kumba made perfume oils um, as a roller ball on your wrist for scent for, for fragrance if you like a little bit of perfume they're really good I had the black coconut once and it's a nice they smell really nice and they stay on the, the scent stays on a long time but if you do wear body perfume my tip for perfume if you wear it is don't spray it on your chest or neck because the compounds in perfume fragrance, uh, when they're exposed to light, they are photo irritants oftentimes and or they can become photo allergens. And so you can develop kind of hyperpigmentation and redness, irritation, discoloration, and it can contribute to photo aging. So a better way to use them is to apply them on your waistband. Uh, because the heat around your waist actually will help the perfume, you know, fragrance kind of exude around you. Because if you spray it on your neck and it goes on, it's exposed to the sun, you can develop irritation. I mean, you can develop irritation around your waist, but at least it's not, at least it's not getting photo exacerbated. And I rather enjoyed these. I put them on my, like, under my wrist here and like on my waist as well. It's just a nice scent. They come in a little convenient roller roller ball too. Except I wish the packaging, the, the glass thing were opaque so light didn't come through. So we're here at Whole Foods. I'm kind of half in the shadow, half out of the shadow. <laughs> but um, this morning I put on that Polish Choice Defense glowy one. So it's very dewy, even in this half, half lighting here. You yeah, see the shine there? That, nice. That's not fair though. I've got a direct flash bulb on me there. But it is pretty shiny, but I don't know. I like it, but it's only SPF 30. It's not water resistant, um, but it is mineral, mineral sunscreen. It's a good everyday moisturizer. I'll say that. You use it as a, you're the one who's primarily using it, right? Is that the Paul's choice? Yeah. I don't put it on my face though. I do hands, arms, and chest. Oh, you use it the as a body moisturizer. Neck. Yeah, I use it on the body. Yeah, it, that's the thing. It feels like a nice moisturizer. It's quasi tinted, though, isn't it? It comes, in, it comes out tinted, but it doesn't go on with any color. Oh. I think it's great for dark, darker skin types, although I always say that, and then I get feedback from others so that in reality it didn't work for them. But you're right, it does Happy come out Sunday, with a color. color. I, didn't, I didn't give you the proper greeting yet. Good what'd you morning. get? What'd you get in your... Oh, I got my usual falafel and then... Dun, da, da, da. Oh, the mate. Yes. Those are so good. And they're vegan too. Underneath that is the curried um, cauliflower. Mm -hmm. And then I got... Um, boy, I really loaded it up today. I got the tofu scramble. Uh -huh. Um, and then platanos on the bottom. Ooh, you've got like a yeah. stack. Cool. I wanted to tell you guys, last night we watched a movie called Private Life. It was really good. I, re I really enjoyed it. It, um, I liked it because the actors in the movie look like real, real people and not just Hollywood what glamour. What is this name, Paul Giacondo or something? Yeah, I'm not sure his name, but he's been in many movies, and she was very good, and I think she's, she's been in other movies that I've seen as well. But it's about this couple on a very arduous TTC journey, trying to conceive journey. I didn't know what TTC was for the longest time, and somebody would comment in my videos, I'm TTC, can you, um, what do you think about using this during TTC? And I was like, is that a new show on 
Netflix. <laughs> Trying to conceive. But anyways, yeah. It was it was really good. And uh, just about everyone's intentions behind doing different their involvement in it. It's really interesting. If you are about to embark on a TTC journey, you might enjoy this movie. I liked it because it took place in New York. And it's always the fun to watch. Clinic. Yeah. Yeah, I swear I've been I swear I worked in that building. But um the uh it's always good to watch a movie that took place in a city where you used to live because you you have all these fond memories and it brings back all the reasons that you enjoyed living there but you never remember the hard things about living yeah, there you don't appreciate your relationship yeah. with where you live until you're gone yeah it's like anytime i see a, anything that takes place in colorado i always get Nostalgia. you know like yeah like all the beautiful scenery and everything but i don't miss i don't miss defrosting my windshield every morning and then any any time I see New York I always miss the little just the light just little things and you see it there but I don't miss the, the slush puddle walking um yeah they ate at Cafe Mogador and I was like oh I've been there before yeah that's well it was a, it was a very good movie it was very frank I think yeah very, um just the black and white facts. Yeah, it was a very good movie. Emotional roller coaster. Yeah. That was so, hard. I recommend it. What did Private you think life. of the ending? The ending is is not very. It leaves you up. It leaves you guessing. I'll say I that. liked. It. After I, I thought found. about it, I'm glad it ended that way. Yeah. Because had it ended in either direction, it would have confirmed or denied the validity of one or two paths. Yeah. And so it left everything open so that it didn't Your own interpretation. support. Oh, this is the word right. It's, it's all right in the end. Or, yeah. I liked it. Yeah. I usually don't like those kind of endings that don't have a resolution, but I liked that one. Yeah, it was very good. Let me show you what I got this morning. Put a little of the, um, I was showing you guys this perfume oils. I put a little drop on my wrist of a rose scented one and it's so good. It smells so good. It's raising our vibration as we sit well, here. My mom is watching um, a YouTuber that I that's rather fun to watch, Holistic Habits. I love her. And now my mom is on this, my vibrations, she keeps saying I, my vibrations are elevated. <laughs> I, I think that's just a a trendy way for me to say that I'm in a good mood, maybe? I don't I guess know. So. Anyway. That's good. I got um, strawberries, uh, cauliflower taboule. There is one of those pretty watermelon radishes in there. And uh, there's arugula in the bottom. And a pecan, some sesame seeds, and a little bit of granola. Oh, and some quinoa too. It's kind of a mix, mix medley. How's the balmade? I love these. Yeah, they're good. So I came back over here because my mom wanted just to take a whiff of the Arabian rose since she wanted to raise her elevations. Take a sniff, guys. It's delicious. <laughs> but I saw this mineral fusion brush on sh sun defense like that is, science. yeah, it's like the color science one, except um, it's 25 bucks. <laughs> So um, this looks promising. It uh, is mineral, uh, zinc and titanium dioxide, and it doesn't have any fragrance. It also has iron oxides. But if you're new here, here's the deal with these mineral powders, brush-on powders. They are not a replacement for reapplying your sunscreen. They're helpful for masking like the shine, but if you just rely on this to reapply sunscreen, you're not getting you're not getting good coverage. But let's see how this looks on the skin. Yeah, you're not getting good coverage because um, there's skip areas where the powder is not going to adhere. But that's actually pretty nice. I don't be good. You lose a lot out of the sides of this, though. So goes out pretty quickly it looks nice anyways what I was saying is this doesn't this doesn't apply two milligrams per centimeter square 
surface area of an even film to to get you SPF 30 on every surface. Um, so this really isn't enough for your reapplication. You still need a base layer reapplication of your sunscreen, but this you can dust on over top. So that's that's one way to use these. And they're also helpful though um, to dust on your part line and your scalp. Oh, because most sunscreens don't go well on the scalp. Let's be honest. This is this is a, a nice thing to use in the scalp. Oh, I'm scalp gonna start area. doing yeah. that with the color science. Yeah. yeah. And you know you could use the color science one, but this one's only 25 bucks. You, you might want to go for that price point if you're going to be dusting it, you know, just in your scalp. You don't need to go that bougie. <laughs> What's I that scent? Let's see what Texas cedar wood is like. Oh yeah, how is it? Um, it, it reminds me of firewood. Ooh. You know, dry wood that you put on the fire. How's black pepper? Stimulating. So. <laughs> Is this going to raise my vibration? It's a childproof capsule. Um, it smells like black pepper. It smells like that. It's $14.99 for the uh, stimulating black pepper. Our uh, rose is from Bulgaria. Bulgaria. Yeah, yeah. They have a, uh, they're the world's largest leading producer of uh, rose oil. Good. Little boy, waiting patiently. I was curious, George, this morning. You only took out two toys. Wow. I didn't miss your tidy bow. Crazy boy, did you find your chewy? He wants his turtle. Well, hey guys. Um, it is early afternoon, around 11 o'clock, and I'm gonna start cooking. I have a sun basket meal that I brought over here to make with my mom, and it looks really good. It's this eggplant. Uh, it's an eggplant stew with red lentils, and it looks really good. Um, so I've been happy with Sun Basket since I made that video for you guys a while ago. I've continued to get more, more of them periodically throughout the week, and I really like them. I have them maybe one or once or twice a month. that I toasted up in the air fryer, 350 degrees for 10 minutes. So. Have you tried it yet? <laughs> oh yeah, it does um, look like the photo. Yeah, it's got, oh you put the dill on for me. Cool. Good job. Yeah. I'm looking forward to this. And I just put mine on a bed of those power greens from Costco and we had some steamed carrots, cucumber, some cherry tomatoes. This is just a little piece of the, it's called lavash. And there it is. It looks good. It has flatbreads, yeah. orange ju juice, the juice of one orange, and zest of one orange. And it came with a pomegranate molasses, like a tablespoon of it to put in, and like a spice blend and fire roasted tomatoes. Wow, that's really good. It's tasty. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, everything I've I've made from there, I've really liked. Yeah, this is neat. So this is a Persian. I think so, yeah. Yeah. It's very good. Three stuff the three thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, and, and it came out looking just like the picture. Yeah, it was really easy. Gotta stay classy. This is my adult bib for those of you who are new. It keeps my shirt clean. But let's see how it tastes. Mm. 
That's really good. Mm -hmm. Well, hey guys, what's up? I am back. Hopefully I'm in focus because I took my contacts out and I don't have my glasses on. But if I'm not, then, you know, I apologize and hopefully you will just listen to me. Uh, um, but anyways, I um, just got out of the shower and I wanted to come back to a product that I reviewed for you guys and haven't mentioned really a whole lot since, but I actually do continue to use and have been gravitating towards a lot more lately here and there, you know, A, in an effort to use up and B, because I genuinely like it. And I'm finding, um, as I predicted that, now that it's getting warmer and stickier, um, this is just the kind of thing that I am looking for, you know, I'm wanting to use. And it is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Body Gel Cream, fragrance free. That's key. Fragrance free. They make one with that awful fragrance in it. Don't even buy that. And they put fragrance free in these tiny little letters and they tend to put them right next to each other. Sometimes they inadvertently get uh, cross stacked from anterior to posterior in the shelf and you pick up the wrong one. So make sure you have the right one if you get this. This is fantastic though. I really enjoy it and I think they did a fantastic job with it. You know, I think when I reviewed it for you guys, I had made my way through approximately a third and now I'm well two thirds into the bottle. And this is fantastic as a body moisturizer, but it's also great on the face. So this, much in the same way that I tell you guys I like to use CeraVe moisturizing cream in the tub and tell you guys to, or to pick a moisturizer that's in a big bottle or tub that, you know, can be used everywhere just to make your life and your, your life easier and your wallet heavier. Uh, you know, that, that's, that's my recommendation. But, uh, for the summertime, you know, you might want something more lightweight, more of a, a lightweight lotion as opposed to a cream. Many of you don't even particularly get along swimmingly with CeraVe moisturizing cream in the tub. Uh, I recommend this, or considering this. It's great for sensitive skin. Um, it's fantastic for oily prone skin, acne prone skin. It doesn't have anything in here that's going to exacerbate acne. It's uh, moisturizing, it's got humectants, and it, it does well on its own uh, to the face, to the, to the body. I'm using it by itself to the body, and I also have used it from time to time on my face as a standalone moisturizer, and it works great. It works really, really well. Um, really perks up the hydration status in the skin um, very nicely. It has glycerin as a humectant, dimethicone, and petrolatum, um, which are occlusives. And it's just a nice, lightweight consistency. They really did a phenomenal job with this. This and that waterproof mascara are some newer to me Neutrogena Hydro Boost uh, products that I'm really loving. I actually recently acquired their the Hydro Boost eye cream. I'm actually going to try it because. I'm suspicious, I suspect that the Hydro Boost eye cream, which is fragrance free, is the exact same thing as Neutrogena Hydro Boost Extra Dry Sensitive Skin Gel Cream in the tub, only more costly per ounce, but might stand in if you are a fan of the Neutrogena Extra Dry Sensitive Skin Hydro Boost Jar Cream might be a nice travel size stand-in if you want to take it with you traveling. So I recently got it and I'm going to try it out. Maybe it's thicker, I'm not sure. When I'll get to that, I don't know. But I do really like this product, long story short. And, um, you know, I, um, I'm disappointed there. Um, Neutrogena's Clear Face Sunscreen, the chemical sunscreen that I've always loved, I recently learned that it has some, I can't remember what it is, some fragrancy ingredient in it now that I swear was not in there from the beginning. So it's no longer my go-to recommendation. I think a much better uh, choice in terms of drugstore chemical sunscreens for, you know, like people with acne, oily prone skin. I mean, we could go on and on about good ones out there. These are just a few that come to mind. So no, this is not a holy grail list, but several that come to mind um, are the different moisturizer, daily moisturizer, D-I-F-F-E-R-I-N, like different gel, you know, they have a whole line of products to go along with with, adap with the Adapalene. And the sunscreen is very good for oily prone and acne prone skin. It is the exact same sunscreen, I'm not even kidding, the exact same sunscreen as the Cetaphil um, oil control sunscreen. They're the exact same. 
the one that I've showed you guys before, I'll list them down below. It's the Differin one and the Cetaphil one, exact same. I mean, they're both, um, they're both uh, made by the same company. And at the um, trade booth at the meeting that I went to recently, they had them right, like, right next to each other. They were talking about them, the same wrap. And I was like, are these basically the exact same thing in different bottles? And she was like, yeah, they are. And you might find that like confusing or misleading. It's actually a situation of companies bottling the same thing up in different packaging. It's actually a situation in which I'm kind of okay with it because I think about like a patient who um, has been told to use Differin and has been told to use sunscreen with Differin. Um, and you know, I think it's easier for that patient if they're in the drugstore to see the products right next to each other and just pick them up at the same time without like the provider having to tell them like, well, you know, get the Differin gel and the Cetaphil oil control. Like it is kind of nice that they're all in the same packaging just for like convenience sake in that situation when you're starting out the over-the-counter medication. So I'm actually kind of in favor of it, you know, instead of being like, well, you've got to get Differin, but you know, this other brand of moisturizer and this other brand of sunscreen, it starts to make it very confusing for our patients. And so having the product line all as a line that you can just say, yeah, there's a wash that, that goes with Differin that you can get. There is a sunscreen that goes with Differin that you can get and be feeling comfortable that they're all good products. It makes it easier and, you know, less, less concern and less stress for the, for the patient. So I'm actually in favor of it in that situation. You know, it like makes sense. So I'm not like, I'm not like casting shit they did this. But long story short, those are very good uh, sunscreens for people with oily prone, acne prone skin that are looking for a chemical sunscreen. They, they're nice. Um, but this is a great product. I really like it and strongly recommend it to anybody. I mean, mature skin, I think we'll get along with this just well. Um, you know, and, and it, this is not a reason to like necessarily bail on your CeraVe in the tub if it's continuing to work, but if you're finding it's just, you know, too heavy, particularly if you live in the Southeast, you know, it's gonna get hot. And so maybe that's a little too heavy for you and you want something more lightweight. I recommend this. Zerabee Body Lotion is also a good choice, by the way. Um, so yeah, that's just a little moisturizer update. <laughs> hopefully I'm still in focus or blurry or who knows, but hopefully my voice is coming across clearly. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlogs this weekend. If you like them, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, subscribe and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.